All right, y'all. <clears throat> Yo, so look, right now it's an auto. So if I'm just trying to cruise, whatever, I'll just keep it in auto, you know what I'm saying? Um, but if I'm just trying to let like, you know, but most of the time I like driving sport though, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just keep it auto for now though. But look, y'all, you know what I'm saying? So to so like, so look, I'm gonna tell y'all this, like, so like what I do for a living, I drive trucks uh, for my job. Um, but I have my CDL license and uh, I drive like them big, like 18 wheelers or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I do that. And uh, but I'm also like in the army too. So um, but I've been in the army for like two years. Um, so I think about, nah, it's going on about like two and a half gears now though. So I'm going, it's going about two and a half though. Um, I got like, like three more years left. Well, like my contract six years. So I probably got like, I don't know, probably like three and a half left or whatever. So um, yeah, I've been doing that though. And um, I joined the army in 2018, whenever. Um, so look, I'm gonna just go way back though, scratch all that. So I graduated high school in like 2017. And uh, whenever I graduated high school, I was planning on going to college, you know? And um, so I was planning on going like, you know, to like, it's called, well, here in Pittsburgh, it's called, um, CCAC, whatever. So I was planning on going there for like two years or a year or whatever and then transferring up to go to Slippery Rock, which is also in PA. Uh, it's called um, Slippery Rock University, whatever. And um, and I was gonna go for like um, petroleum engineer. So um, long story short, you know, all that didn't really work out in my way though. So uh, I ended up just joining the army um, a year later after I graduated and I never went. So, um, and this played a huge role like with my credit because with me signing up for, for CCAC and me not going um, for, for you know like, like for the class and everything that also cost like a lot of money I thought that was gonna charge me I actually sent my stuff to the collections and um, whenever I went to the army in 2018 um, and I came home whatever I, I ended up paying that back um, and when I paid that back it boosted my credit all the way up so and you know uh, my credit was I don't know probably like a I don't know, probably like a five. It was low. It, it was super low, y'all. It was probably like a five twenty, something like that. Five thirty. No, I say about five fifteen, five twenty. Then the boost of like a hundred points. I went to like a six twenty. And then what happened was I was still working at my old job before I even went to the army for a little bit for a few months. And then um, once I was able to, I end up um, I end up working with my dad. And um, to and in order to get a job, with my dad and stay there. You have to know that you're going to you know well you can get a job there but eventually in order to get hired because once you start this job that i'm working at now you 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 start off as an extra so um i was extra i was on call you know um i just like recently just got hired two weeks ago so um i was an extra you know i was getting called you know it's easy it's you work in the warehouse and it's actually just for like you know johnny or whatever so you know i was an extra whatever and they was calling me, you know, and da da da. So you know, I have to get, I have to get up. Like, let's say, like I'm out doing some stuff. They'll call me to come in. I, I, I have to come in, y'all. It, it was the worst. Though. I did that for like a year. So and then I actually got trained to get my CDLs for free. And for those who don't know, you know, like most people pay thousands. You know, like they get your CDLs. That costs a lot of money. And keep in mind, that I'm only 21 though. So, you know, um, to pay that much, like I, I don't got ten, fifteen thousand dollars or whatever, you know to get my CDL. So um, the job trains me for free and gets them. So I just recently got my CDLs. So that's what I do for a living. I drive trucks though, but I can also like work in the warehouse too. And um, so, but I mean, I, I choose to, I, I choose to drive trucks cause it's just, I mean, it's just easier to do. So, you know, but that's what I do for a living. And for the army, um, cause I know like, you know, there's like a few people out there who got a few questions bit about me, you know, like the army and me going out of town and like stuff like that. Um, so what happened was when I joined, um, I'm in the army, like national guard for PA. So, uh, when I joined, I had to go down to uh, Fort Jackson. Yo, this dude is not even in his lane. Yo, y'all see that? Look at him. Yo, he almost really, you know what I mean? Yeah. I go through that all the time. People don't be in their lane. They don't break super hard and all this crazy stuff. So, um, anyway, um, I'm in the army, uh, I'm in the uh, Pennsylvania National Guard. And um, so when I first joined 2018, 
I had to go down Fort Jackson, South Carolina. Um, I had to go to basic training, which was like, you know, like 10 months. So, I mean, I'm, I mean, not 10 months, yeah, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. It was 10 weeks. So it was 10 weeks, you know, two and a half months. Yo, to start off, like the first two weeks, it was hell, yo, it was hell. I mean, yo, like we had to get like rushed. Yo, we was rushed to eat. We was getting screamed out of bed, like with a horn. You know, but that, that's only for like the first week, you know, week and a half though, because it's hell week though, you know, and they want to get you acclimated and they want to break you down mentally and build you back up though. But I mean, I seen people like my age, I seen older people like 20, 29 years old was in tears. Like, you know, like the drill sergeants, yo, they had them in tears. Like, you know, they was screaming at them. And, you know, me, I mean, I, I grew up in a household where it was like, you know, much like discipline. So it didn't really like affect me a lot though. But, um, you know what I'm saying, but I, I seen like grown men and women, like I seen this grown lady. She was, uh, I think she was probably like probably foreign though, but um, she was in tears though. I seen her cry because they because they screamed at her though. We had to wake up at like five o'clock in the morning, five fifteen, five twenty in the morning to do PT. And for those who, who don't know what PT is, it's called PT stands for physical training. So you know you push ups and running and he's running miles and stuff like that. And um, I did all that boot camp and all that. So all that went, I went, I went to boot camp in, in November 21st, 2018. I went down there for four weeks and I came up for Christmas break for two weeks. Went back down January 3rd and I graduated uh, February 21st, 20, yeah, 21st. So, um, you know, I'm telling y'all now, it's a whole different lifestyle, but it's, it's, it's totally worth it though, you know. Um, when I first signed, I, I got a nice little bonus. Um, twenty twenty thousand dollars, yo. Yeah, what's going on over here, y'all? What's going on? I think it's like a crash or something. So I don't know. But um, anyway, I got like a twenty thousand dollar bonus. I didn't get that right away, you know, like 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 before I went down basic, you know, like whenever I was doing like my paperwork and everything, and before they shipped me out the basic. Um, because if so, then everybody would be joining just for that reason. You know, first my my basic, like I said, was you know, ten weeks, two and a half months. Um, and then from there, I left there. February 22nd and I went to uh, Fort Lee Virginia I went there for like 13 weeks so you know I, I graduated from basic February 21st February 22nd I, I went to um, AIT which is um, AIT in the army stands for an advanced individual training so I went there I graduated I, I went there and I'm I look I'm, I'm gonna tell you this it was like a lot more smoother you know it wasn't like like all rough and crazy, you know, like a real boot camp style. I mean, at the end of the day, it was still training. I mean, and, and like, we still had drill sergeants though, but it wasn't like all intense, you know, like basic was though. So it was kind of like college, been the army though. I'll put it like that though. So I went there, um, I trained on, you know, like the job, like that I am in the army that I do. So I'm a mechanic and an army that, um, well, there's like a whole bunch of different mechanics, but my MOS, which stands for military, occupational occupational specialty um which is really job in the army my job in the army is um i'm a 91 bravo so um i fix you know like humvees lmtvs you know like the army trucks and the stuff like you know like that you see on tv though that's mechanic you know you change oil and whatever you know stuff like that though so um i was training for that for 13 weeks from february 22nd all the way to like i think i came home may 19th i graduated may 19th and um, I did that, and then, hold on, y'all. I don't know what they doing, y'all. Yo, I be seeing people drive crazy all the time, y'all. All the time. People be doing some wild stuff, you know, swerving in and out of lanes, all types of crazy stuff, though. So, um, yeah, I did that. I trained on that, came on May 19th. And like I said, I continued working at my job, which was, um, before I left, I was working at the, um, PNC Park and I was working at the convention center um, in Pittsburgh PA so I was you know working at like both of those doing that you know back and forth and then came around uh, 2019 I'll say like no 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 I'm tripping I came home to 19 so came 2020 February like you know last year like last you know like January I actually got in like with my dad's job and like I said, I was on call for a year and then I got hired. But um, I just recently trained. I recently got done training, took the test, got my CDLs and everything. So that's what I do for a living, y'all. But I drive trucks though, you know what I'm saying? It's like real simple though. 
to start off, it's tough though, cause like we got to take a test in like a manual truck, like like not no automatic truck. You know, like you know, like one of those right there. You know what I'm saying? So I was like training those by the manual though, 10 speed. I trained those, took the test. So now I drive automatic. Once you like get used to it, y'all, like it's really, it's really simple. I thought like my first day on my own, I was all scared, whatever. Not scared, but I was all nervous, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know, but then like once you get used to it, it's, it's like really nothing, y'all. Like to be honest with y'all. I'm gonna just like elaborate on that, on that kind of thing because I know y'all like a few questions, whatever. So, you know, like I said, y'all need, for those who's young like me, you know, like you need credit history. Like, you know, you need, like that's a, that goes on a huge way, you know. Like I said, Whenever I went to go get my SXT charger, my first car, I had a high credit, you know, score. Like I was like at 690. I was almost, I was almost like 700, but I didn't get improved because I didn't have no credit history. Like they didn't see me pay on nothing big, so it was like, you know, they couldn't really trust me, you know, to make these payments, whatever. So once I had some credit history after 10 months, because my dad the co-signed for me to get the first car, so I was, you know, I had co-signed for me. I was under him for 10 months. Once I got some credit history, I actually separated from him, y'all, and I refinanced. Um, Cause at the time I was, I was financing the car through the bank that the that the, that the dealer gave me, which was Capital One. So um, I refinanced from them, and I went to Navy Federal Credit Union. And um, if y'all know, I'm gonna say this: if y'all know anybody who's yo know, in the military, or whatever, and I got Navy Federal, ask them to put you on, whatever, cause. Y'all interest rates and everything is so much more like reasonable. Like, you know, like 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 I said in my last video, you know, they was trying me pay like 800, 700 for a car note. As soon as I financed through them, like, you know, like after the 10 months, whatever, like my interest rate went down and everything though. Then I'm back again though. Yeah, my bad though. But my GoPro cut off though. I don't know for what reason, but I think it was like overheated or, or like whatever, some, you know what I mean? So I don't know what happened though, but yeah, y'all look, like I was saying, make sure make sure that y'all got some credit history because that goes a long way. And um, cause without, I mean, even if you have a high credit score with no credit history, it's gonna be, you know, you might not get approved though, or it's gonna be real hard to, you know, so uh, make sure y'all do that. You know what I'm saying? The only way to do that is to just pay on stuff. You just gotta just pay on, Stuff that you know costs like a little bit, you know, I don't know, not pricey though, but you know, for for you know, for like, for like example, like a car note, whatever, or something like that, you know. So make sure you have some credit history, you know what I'm saying? Because I heard people ask me about that, you know, the, the other day, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, and also, like, I don't know if y'all knew, like, my, my credit is kind of young, you know, like, I only like really been taking care of my credit for two, two and a half years, though. So it's like real good, you know and high for like how long i've had it but it's super young though so you know i make sure that I make sure that i pay my stuff on time I, you know my credit cards card note you know like all that good stuff you know i'm about to squeeze in here y'all i'm gonna squeeze her real quick squeeze in here i'm about to switch lanes again saying but yeah y'all make sure y'all have that yeah that's 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 real important though you know what i mean like and like for those who's new you yeah, make sure y'all like and comment subscribe if y'all got like any more questions or whatever let me know make sure y'all stay tuned i gotta go to work in like a whole hour so i'm about to hurry up and give me something to eat go change whatnot blah 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 you know what i'm saying so make sure y'all stay tuned and uh y'all about to see tonight like a little something you know what i mean i'm out i'm out